Hi, this short video is going to go over what causes the aggregate demand line to shift or what are the determinants of aggregate demand. So first, the aggregate demand line shows up in our classical or Keynesian model and is downward sloping. And as its name implies, it's all the individual demands for all the goods and services in an economy aggregated. On the axes, we have real GDP and price level. And so what can happen when things in the economy change is aggregate demand can shift right or increase or aggregate demand can shift left or decrease. So what causes these shifts or what determines aggregate demand? So the easiest way I can get this across is to remember your equation for GDP and those are the components of aggregate demand or the determinants of aggregate demand. So remember y equals c plus i plus g plus nx. So that's your equation. You've probably seen that a lot by now. You have it memorized. You kind of know what it means. I'll go over it again real quick. y is GDP. c is consumer spending. i is investment spending. g is government spending and NX is net imports, so exports minus imports. Now, if any of these things change, we're going to have a change in Y and therefore a change in aggregate demand. So what causes aggregate demand to shift? It's a change in one of these variables. So for C and I, I'm going to lump these two together and this would be a change here would be caused by a change in expectations. So if consumers thought that the economy was going to get better, maybe their wealth was going to go up, for some reason there's a change in expectations for households, and this changes C, <coughs> we'll see C go up or down, which will change Y, and thus affect aggregate demand. So if it's a positive change, C goes up, Y goes up, aggregate demand goes up. Same with firms. If firms have a positive outlook on the future, they'll invest more. I goes up, Y goes up, aggregate demand goes up. Likewise, if they think bad things are going to happen, one of these goes down, Y goes down, aggregate demand decreases or shifts left. Now for G, this could be fiscal policy or a change in government policy. So an increase in G is going to cause Y to increase, aggregate demand increases or shifts right. They cut fiscal policy, G goes down, Y goes down, aggregate demand shifts left. Now for net exports, some of you guys don't have to worry about this, but some of you guys do. This would be caused by a change in, say, currency. So currency could become stronger or a currency could become weaker. If your currency becomes stronger, saying the exchange rate goes up, then your exports become more expensive in other countries, so less are bought. This means exports go down and thus net exports decline. A decline in exports is going to cause aggregate demand to shift left. NX goes down, Y goes down, leftward shift. Also, if GDP is rising faster in your country than others in the world, then the purchase of imports rise. This again would lower net exports, which lowers Y, which will lower aggregate demand. So if your country is growing slower, this would actually decrease imports or increase aggregate demand, which is kind of a counterintuitive. So let's just do a summary real quick. Um, remember the components of aggregate demand. Y equals C plus I plus G plus net exports. Remember that and the factors that change these guys can be lumped into a change in expectations for either firms or households
so a positive change in expectation would mean aggregate demand increases negative aggregate demand would decrease two government spending change G goes up or fiscal policy aggregate demand goes up one I didn't mention before in our determinants but also plays a role as monetary policy and this will affect C or I so monetary policy if interest rates drop I and potentially C will increase which will increase aggregate demand and finally we have currency and exchange rates which is our net exports and I talked about that before so if you can keep these main ideas in check and find out which one of these it applies to then use your intuition would I expect C to go up or down or stay the same I to go up or down or stay the same G to go up or down or stay the same and net exports to go up or down or stay the same so when you get those questions and you're not really sure write out this equation try to remember these key principles and just think about it is it going to change one of these guys if so which one and does it go up or down if it makes it go up Y goes up aggregate demand goes up if it makes it go down Y goes down aggregate demand goes down Good luck.